Be sure to follow me on IG at Lex the Goddess and hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be updated when I make new videos. Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lex, and today I'm going to be putting highlights in this 26 inch wig that I got from Nice Hair. I'm going to link everything down below, but these are the products that I'm going to be using. I use a, a developer, a 40 developer, purple shampoo, a bowl to mix in, aluminum foil, and a, um, the powder so that, you know, I can mix everything up. And I also use a um, purple conditioner. So as you can see here, I'm going ahead and section it off the wig. It's best that you do um, horizontal sections. You can pre-section the whole thing. I'm just doing it as I go. And also, um, be mindful that the size of the sections are gonna tell how many highlights you have. So if you don't want that many, don't make them too small. This is the consistency of the bleach when I mixed it with the powder. I didn't want it to be too runny, but still like have a thickness to it. So I'm going in with my red tail comb, and you also want to use gloves for this process. And I'm just showing you up close how I did it. Um, using like a loop method, so I'm going through the hair, then under, then through, then under, then through, then under. I'm making it pretty big. And the hair that comes out on top is the hair that I'm actually going to place the bleach on. And if you uh, can get aluminum sheets, it will be very easy to do so. But then you want to take those, that pre-section part that you just took and put the aluminum foil under it. And guys, the lighting is going in and out on this video. But you want to take that and have that um, area there on top of the aluminum foil. And then pretty much you're just going to put that bleach um, on the hair from there. Guys, I was having so much trouble in the beginning because I was just trying to find a way to hold it. But that's all you're going to do. And once you start placing the bleach on it, it'll stick to the aluminum sheet. And you'll be able to, um, you know, just coat it in bleach. Also... You want to um, make sure that you get that all the way to the very end of the hair and as much as the roots as you can and smooth it out onto that sheet. And then once you go ahead and smooth, smooth it all out, you're going to um, close that aluminum sheet and then you're going to start on the next section, guys. It's really this simple it's not a hard process um, it just takes time also be mindful that the area in which you start is going to be the lightest because you're going to be working your way up and that area is going to be sitting for the longest so if you want it more light in the back you should start from the back and if you want it more light in the um, front then you should start um, the process in the front um, I actually did this in a two-day process been that actually like I had to um, do something and I didn't have enough time to do the front of the hair and I wanted to just see like the color that it came out as as well but this all can be done in one day you just want to make sure that you're very careful that um, you're not getting the bleach everywhere all over the hair and that you're you know as you can see me spreading it out and getting the consistency into all the strands of the hair I end up using the comb but like to spread it through, but you really don't need it per se. But definitely you want to just make sure you smoothing that hair out because you don't want it to have like patches and stuff on it when you take the aluminum foil off. So as you can see, I'm working up through the hair and that's like the back of the frontal area um, close to the top of the hair. So. I'm just still just showing you guys. I'm going to show you again exactly what I did. Um, and also, I was, like you can see, taking spaces 
within the um, hair. So like I would do a layer and then I would do a space in which I didn't do any highlights on the hair. And then I would do highlights above that section. I didn't really highlight every section because I didn't want the hair to have streaks throughout. I just wanted like it to have just a pop of color in it. But I'm pretty much repeating this process. And I end up clipping it because it just helped me to do everything like faster. But I'm showing you how I use the actual tool to just kind of like push the hair down instead of using a comb. It just came out much easier for me instead of me using the comb and trying to go through and, and comb the hair. Like I was just started smoothing it out better because this was my first time in a long time actually like bleaching my hair. So I had to just kind of learn how to manipulate the tools again. So that's pretty much what the back is gonna look like. I just wanted to show you guys that from um, top to bottom, that's how you wanna get it. Make sure you get the bleach all the way down through to the end of the hair. Now for the front, I decided to go and like do something different. I wanted to have like, kinda like that um, patch kinda look, but also I didn't want it to be like streaks in the like all around or like, I don't know. But I just kind of had a different vision, but this is what I did to get that kind of front bangs um, bleached look. Like it was cute. It was cute and very subtle. And I will say that if you're gonna try this, please make sure you get it from the roots so that it can be like a uniform organized look. I didn't really get it through the roots throughout, so it's kind of like not coming from the lace. Like it's a little like dark and then like the color starts, but it just all depends on what you're going for. But I would've got the hair through a little bit more if I would've been thinking about it. But you can also see me putting in the um, highlights on the side right there. And again, I chose to put them in these in these different positions because I didn't want my whole head like looking super highlighted. I still wanted it to like have that brown, brownish, blondish color in it, but I did not want it to be like overbearing. I just wanted to add a touch of color to this hair. So if you want more highlights, definitely you can go in and add, you know, different sections and sizes and things like that. But this is pretty much what it takes to do the highlighting process. And you can see like in the back where I had already washed that color out like kind of what color that hair was. And 
also if you want to know where I got this wig I will drop all the information down below I also have a coupon code if you want to order through the site you can use my coupon code to get money off of a wig that I love this, this is a 26, 26 inch 13 by 6 lace wig HD frontal it is gorgeous it is giving scalp and I love it so if you want to know how to get this wig please make sure you check down in the information down below and I'll link all the things that I use to get this look as well down below also if you want to see this wig being installed make sure to go check out um, my tutorial I will link it at the right hand top of the screen so that you can go and check that video out as well And if you are struggling with this process, it's okay because in the beginning, I was struggling, y'all. So I'm telling you, as you do it, practice makes perfect. I have been bleaching here for a while, but practice makes perfect, y'all. Don't don't feel discouraged if, if this is taking you a long time. Just keep trying, okay? All right, so here you can see me washing the color out. I'm using my Shimmer Lights shampoo and conditioner. That's the perfect shampoo. It will help to get the brassiness out of your hair and I'm just taking all those aluminum sheets off. I had already washed the back out as I explained earlier that I have to do this in two days because of the fact that I have something to do and I need to have my wig on the first time. So I'm going ahead and putting in purple shampoo and just getting it all the way through. That will actually get that smell, that bleachy smell out of your hair as well. You're going to need like a neutralizing shampoo for that. And I'm just going ahead and getting it out, washing it really, really, really good. And running my hands through it while I'm washing it as well so it doesn't be, so it's not tangled. And that I'm making sure that I'm actually just getting the hair clean. All right, so now I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm washing it all out and I'm gonna use the Shimmer Light Shampoo, I mean conditioner, sorry. And I'm just saturating the conditioner in there and I'm gonna get a plastic bag and go ahead and start detangling the hair because I wanna show y'all how to keep your wigs really soft as soon as you um, put color in it because it can like really make the hair, you know, just not as soft as it was before. So um, pretty much just detangling the hair out, getting all the um, you know kinks out of it, getting it really, really soft. Then I'm gonna make sure I keep saturating it in um, conditioner for this next step. And go ahead and put it in your bag. Make sure the bag don't have no holes in it. Make sure you put a little water in there too. Keep it saturated. Spread the product throughout. You want to get the product all in there. And then the next step I'm going to do is actually put it in the microwave. I put it in the microwave for like a minute. You could leave it in up to two minutes. This is basically just like a, a hot, like bit on the dryer. But I, you know, let it sit and I wash it out as well. Now I'm going in and blow drying it. I already put heat protectant in the hair. Please make sure when you put a heat on your wig to use heat protectant that it's going to keep the hair from being frizzy and dried out and fried and dyed and laid to the side. Okay. So this is what the color looks like while it's blow dried before it's even straight. And I'm loving it. It is super freaking cute to me. And this is the heat protectant that I'm using on it. I used the heat protector before and after. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this hair. 
but you can see like the color that it came out it's um you know it's just very subtle and not too overbearing i didn't want to put highlights all over this wig i just wanted to you know add a touch of color since i had installed it so many times i'm also using my wax stick to actually just keep it really sleek in the front and i'm just flat ironing the hair all over and y'all the hair is super duper duper soft like i love this wig i have we use this wig so many times. A good wig is an investment, so please make sure that you invest in a good one because you're going to keep using it, girl. If anything, I'll probably change the frontal. But this is the finished look. It's giving highlights, and it's also giving, you know, very subtle. You can see it, like, throughout the hair, and I have just a cute little, you know, highlights in the front. I really like it. It is adorable. And if you want to see me install this hair, make sure to drop a comment down below. Make sure to like this video if I was helpful to you and subscribe to my channel as I will be updating you with new content each and every week. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Bye. Have a good day.